Hey everybody, quick tutorial on how to bounce or export stems for a mix engineer to finish your project. So we're going to make sure that all of the recordings, no matter where they have been started, have the same start time. So that when a mix engineer imports all that audio, everything's in the right spot and labeled correctly right away. And your process will be that much faster. Now, as you can see, these red dots indicate clipping. We don't want that. If it's there and you can't do anything about it, that's okay. But we want to minimize that as much as possible so we can turn the volume down on those. Okay? Now, we want to make sure that we add a completely silent track so that when we're bouncing, it'll bounce the whole entire length of the song for each audio file. So what I did is I selected an area for the beginning until the very end of the song or from the ending until the beginning. So this way we make sure we get the very first millisecond sample of recording. I press record. Okay, and I'm gonna do that all the way until the end. Okay, once that happens, I select the whole area. I'll do an example with this and I can silence it. All right, so that's all you're gonna need to do. Now, we're going to export one audio file as an example so you guys can see what's going on. It's always good to make sure everything is labeled correctly too. So I have this silent track unmuted. You're not going to hear it anyway. And I'm going to unmute this one. And if you can, make sure that there's no effects going on any of these audio files. It just makes the mix engineer have an easier time. And he doesn't have to do a lot more manipulation to make things sound better. So stretch all the way to the beginning of the song. This was unmuted, so it's a silent track. Command Shift E, or I can go to File, Export Audio. I'm going to put it in my folder called Your Name, Song Title, Dry Stems, and a Date, potentially. This is number seven. I'm going to call it Sound. I'm not going to put any special characters in there because it won't work properly. Now I'm going to save it. I'm going to put my credentials in. Okay. I can add some extra ones if I'd like. Okay. Press OK. It's bounce. Now if I go into my folder, I should see it right there, and it should say dot .wave. And when I play it, there should be silence in the beginning. Congratulations, there's silence. And then you should hear your sound somewhere. Board from the beginning. Beautiful. So that's all you have to do. And once you bounce all of your tracks, labeling them correctly each and every single time, you can export the whole entire folder to or upload that folder to Google Drive 